This video will show you how to get the blueprint for the Inazuma sword. But before we start, please subscribe. Likes are much appreciated as well. Hope me out. It's for the algorithm. To trigger the quest, all you need to do is be in this island right here, Jinrin Island. And on this island, you'll find a cage where a man should be trapped inside. Once you defeated all of the enemies here and you talk to him, he's going to point out that tree right there where the key to this cage resides. He's going to be talking about is this tree right here. So all you need to do here is to climb up like halfway through and you'll find the key right there. So assuming you already got this ward, that you would receive from talking to the lady who used to be here. She's gonna be talking to you about the shrines or this fox statue right here. So all you need to do is hit this thing with something that has electrical damage. Electrical elemental damage. Okay. After that, she'll be giving you this one right here. Here, this is one this one is essential for the upcoming missions that we're about to do. And from the Kanda village, let's gather information by talk to the villagers. So I'll talk to them. So after talking to the villagers and um, giving you sufficient clues, now you have to go back to the well and investigate. Three key factors to solve this quest. Um, there will be clue by this well, like this broken pitcher right here. Number two, the broken carriage that the kid on the roof, I believe the name is Takeru, would be telling you. That's the second clue. Third will be by this body of water. It's basically where you see Takeru, where he's facing, and this koi nobody right here. So just investigate. Once you've gathered all those three clues, all you need to do is talk to the village chief and give whatever you find throughout the village while you're investigating. Like the coin pouch, the bag looking thingy, and also this ragged list of goods. Then he's going to ask you to come up his roof. And then you'd see in this text right here, a broken house across the gully. Fight off this guy right here, which won't be that hard. Okay, but here you just have to investigate and dig. Here you'd find the key. Key to the well by the village chief's house. Now oh, there you go. Now we've unlocked the well, so we just have to go down, of course. Ayaka, go there down. Thingy right here, and technically you can't come in unless you have that thing right there. But you can have to if just you go but you can have to just go up there you see that thing right there right there that's where you get the uh, electro flying thingy which eventually would help you find this place right here here again will be another puzzle for us to solve which is not that hard in my opinion so yeah use the thing that the bubcut lady gave us the ward in order to lit this thing up. Get this thing in order. Right? So you see that constellation right there? That's how it should be. And it should be, I guess... Two. So this should be three. Now this should be four. And this should be... Five. And then you just have to pray here and kill this guy.
this area is where we'll find the first stone slate. Let's activate this flower thingy that would eventually allow us to go through this barrier. Open this cage up. And this is the old slate. This is where you would find the first old stone slate. Okay, so after talking to the fox mask lady, she'd tell us to go to the abandoned shrine. And find this transparent lady, Mr. Shadow. And that's where you'll see a book and read it. Once you're done with that, you have to go on top of this mountain. And here it should eventually give you the memento lens, which is uh, essential. So in this area, we have to unlock a puzzle thingy. It's not really that hard. All you need to do is light these things up. It's not really that complicated. All you need to do here is to hit this boxes with anything that's got electro damage there's four in this area in total so the first thing was here this is the location the second thing would be over there that's the second the third and fourth is not really that hard to find they're just by the uh by the area where you would um activate the switch climb up here you see and the floor right there will be opening up all right so all you need to do is go down there so use the memento lens to this Mark small up. fox statues and the switches would pop up so you just have to press them all there's three in total so another floor would open up so from here we need to turn left Towards this direction, another puzzle for us to solve. In all honesty, I was here since 30 minutes ago and I don't know how to solve this one. But with the help of our old trusted friend, Google, I now know how to solve this one. Okay, so that's how you do it. See, that's the pattern. That's the pattern that you guys have to follow. Okay, that took me an hour to solve. That allows us to access this hole right here. Eventually, we just have to go down. Okay, so after solving the puzzle upstairs, um, this pile of dirt is where you'll find your first old stone slate. After that, Surprise, another puzzle for us to solve. To solve this puzzle, all you need to do, don't touch anything once you see it, see it. All you need to do is hit this middle block twice. You then proceed towards the staircase down here. You don't even have to fight these guys right here. Once you've reached this point, all you need to do is jump, go towards this shipwreck. And then this broken part right here is where you'd see the second old slate. Last but definitely not the least, which is actually the easiest one. So I left it to be the last stone slate that we have to get. It's by the area in the map behind the Kamisato estate. Right around here. So to get to that quickly, since I don't have the fast travel point yet, 
We sail through a boat. The last stone slave is underneath this small man-made tent. So over the island where we met the guy that's locked up. We just have to find him and talk to him once more. I think he's just down here. Yeah, this is the guy. Now we just have to talk to him. <laughs> so after talking to the guy, he would tell us that there is actually a fifth stone which he hid in this marked location. So this one's not going to be that hard to find since it's already marked in the map. So once you dig, so all we have to do is investigate the area. Eventually you will find nothing, so we'd have to go back again and beat the crap out of guy guy. to us. We're back, beat this guy up, but he's gone. The last step that we have to do, of course, and everyone loves, is fighting off enemies, killing them all. The keys to not step on them twice. I assume all that we need to do now is to talk to people. How do we have the blueprint? can now use it and then we can talk to this blacksmith right here talk to the blacksmith please Ayaka so I don't have the the, the mats that we need for this weapon but at least now we know how much items we need so it's called Aminoma Kagyuchi which is Technically a katana if you're into that katanas anime that's for you. Okay, so that's about it guys um, If you find this useful or a little confusing if you have something more to Add on to this uh, humble tutorial of mine uh, Don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. It's also for the algorithm. It would help me out a lot and um, I'm not asking for anything, just uh, liking the video or even subscribing if you're okay with it. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching and keep safe and I'll see you guys on my next one.